Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're listening from. And welcome to Adelan Bliss. My name is Ubebobo. On Adelan Bliss today, we'll be discussing about how to prepare for the upcoming alumni reunion. As we all know, the alumni reunion is around the corner. So we just want to discuss how can we prepare for this coming event. And with me, we have a wonderful guest. Guess who? Our guest for today is Bro Alami Pita. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, We're happy to have you on here. It's a pleasure being here. Yes, sir. So we'll go straight into the business of this. Um, personally, I've heard of ZLC. I've been there as a leadership conference. I've been to other FCM programs. But alumni reunion is a program that I have not been to. I don't know so much about alumni reunion, so I would like if you can say something about alumni reunion for people like me that have never been there before. Very much. I must appreciate the um, privilege of being on this platform, and I do not take it for granted at all. Yeah, so alumni reunion. It's a gathering of nurses, all right, who at one time or the other have gone through FCN, especially in their basic school of nursing. I know they've graduated from that space. So it's a gathering where we come together for two things. Number one, to understand the mind of the Lord. We have an understanding in FCN Southwest on that every meeting the Lord calls us to he has a purpose for that meeting so it is a call to understanding what the lord has in mind for us at that time because we understand that a man that has the word of the lord in his space nothing will be impossible we don't want to up with a lot of impossibilities a lot of um, you know a lot of difficulties that we do not have a sure word of god to combat with that is one and number two just as the name implies, reunion. Number one is a, re is a reuniting to God. Not that we've actually gone um, away, but it's a time where we reconnect with God, especially with the vision and the giving to us a full time, you know, to come to better understanding, clearer vision of those things. And the second thing to reunite with friends, to reunite with colleagues, to understand, you know, to relate how well has been, how, how, how it has been so far, you know, to be able to network and advance from there. So basically, that is what the reunion is about, to understand that it's a yearly program. At the very beginning of the year, and all of those things that have been afforded me, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Now I understand what's brought about alumni reunion. So having an understanding of that, how can people, how can I prepare for this alumni reunion? What are the things that I can do to just prepare my heart? All right, I like the way the question ended. The, someone rightly said, they said, a matter of a heart is the heart of the matter. Now, the meaning of that is, it is important that one makes up his mind that I've I'm coming to receive from the Lord. Expectation is the mode of manifestation. What you don't expect, you will not see. Very important that um, in preparing best for <clears throat> a meeting like this, that one makes up his mind, a mind to receive from the Lord. When the heart position is fixed, every other thing we are aligned. We are intentional about locking your gaze from the Lord to receive the alliance with the theme. Just like we mentioned earlier, the theme of the, of the, of the reunion um, meeting is for such a time as this. You know, as you begin to ask yourself personal questions, those questions will meet answers at the reunion. However, you will not find answers if you don't have questions. So come with questions with your heart to be ready to receive. And that way, I'll be sure to be a most wonderful time. Thank you so much, sir. So, having an understanding of the fact that there will be a space to reunite with your friends, colleagues, and all of that, and in the same space, we also have to commune with God. Yeah. How do we manage that space that reuniting will not take about 80% of 
what we will be doing there and thereby overshadowing the communion with God. All right, I think it's two things basically. Number one, individual preparation, understanding that you have come to meet with God. And the outflow of your receiving from God will actually pour out into the people you relate with. So, prep individually preparing, making up your mind that okay, I have come to receive from God, so I must. And these people have come also to meet, must relate with them. However, the planners of the committee that is in charge of the planning of this uh, reunion are the best of them, of best of mind. All right. So, yes, scheduled time, the timing. And the other of program is in is, is in such a way that there won't be conflict of road. There will be time for us to intentionally gaze on God, and we we'll also have time, you know, to be able to share, contact, to relate, and to together advance the cause of the kingdom of God. So that's how it's actually going to be. Mm, thank yeah. you, thank you so much, sir, for that information. <clears throat> Finally, um, I would like to ask that. For people that come and at the end of the program they just go home, close their books and there's no reflection on what has been done in the how do we maximize everything, every single thing that we've gotten from the program after we leave the program? Alright, I think it's three things. Number one, if you have if you had if you had an expectation can check me on that expectation. You, when you come to a space, it's important that you have a reason for coming to that space. So check me with that reason. Check me with that expectation. And the second thing, the people you interacted, you interacted with, keep in close contact with them. You know, once you, as we interacting, there's no way as we are discussing. There will be times when you know someone will mention about what he, the encounter he had at the reunion from that place. Things and things will continue to be so. The people you met, probably new people, or people you united with, keep in close contact with them. All right, checking up on another. And the third thing is follow up on the social media handles of the fellowship. There, you're actually going to see updates, things that will keep you in remembrance of the things we've learned, and from there, we make progress. So, I think that will really help. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Welcome. We we are blessed having you here. Thank you for this session. We really appreciate you. So we've come to the end of this session. Thank you for your time. Thank you for staying with us till this point. We ask that you have a lovely day. Bye. Bye.